the Adventure Club Challenge, where each day、they、Coach Matt、uh, will be doing different activities, well, showing us how to do different activities that is、uh, that can help your kids with behavior or sensory issues.、Uh, wow, so today, Reggie,、uh, like your little brother.、Uh, actually, I cannot fully see his face. It's Willie. Oh, it's Willie. Okay, hi, Willie. Hi, Willie. How are you? Willie. <laughs> yeah. For those、Willie、of you that's、uh, tuning in from Instagram, sorry, you cannot see Matt. But if you go to our Facebook in- instead, you should see was, able to see Matt. And, but you can hear him. Hey, wait, but we can just、yeah. show him. Okay. Yeah, they can see. Okay. I'm gonna just show. Let's see how do I figure this out. I will show people on Instagram like this. <laughs> Okay. Whoa! The fourth dimension. Wait, see. <laughs> Whoa! We're breaking the fourth wall. Okay. Okay. Now we need to see ourselves. Okay. Okay. Now I need to change it back. Stop! 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 I cannot multitask like that. <laughs> Crazy. So, okay. Let me go back here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to play today's challenge hey, videos. Okay. Stop. Uh, we're going to uh, uh play today's challenge video that Matt already pre-create. So、uh, Matt, I'm going to push.、Uh, I'm going to hide your screen for a little bit and just play the video. Then I'll push you back out once the video is done. Then you can kind of explain today's、uh, challenges and today's activities. Sounds good. Yeah, where did Matt go? All you need to get is a jug and some water and some soap and some tubes. Are you ready? This is how it works. Here we go. Give it a go. Ready? Here we go. Bubble jug. So you 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 don't have to get a jug. You can use a milk jug. You can use a container, a bowl, a cup. It doesn't matter. All it is is soap and water and then. Have a tube, a straw, something to make it. We're straightening all this stuff up here. Bubble jug. <laughs> all right. So this next one is gak bubble. Gak bubble. All you need is some gak or slime. You can even use putty, stuff like that. And you just need a straw or a tube, and kids can blow. Big reds, blow it! Whoa! See Willie? Go ahead, Willie. Whoa! Whoa! It's like a giant stuff. Pretty cool. Whoa! There it is. And he's gonna place the tube just like that. Lay it flat. Place the tube like that. And put it over, and make sure there's no holes. And go ahead, make sure there's no holes, and go ahead and blow it up, Big Rich. Whoa! Usually you need to seal it somehow. Go ahead. Did you get it? Go ahead. Whoa! Yeah, make that make that seal. So gak bubble. Let's see it. Yes. Keep away from carpet and hair. And anything that has fibers, things like that. So using it on a mat, a piece of plastic. Oh, I popped it! Ah! All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next one is feather fun. You have to keep the feather in the air with a tube. Oh, nice! Oh, so nice! Option two is if you want to do it on the ground. If you don't have a feather, you can use a piece of paper. You keep going, buddy. Which is a little harder. Oh, he's blowing. He's gonna blow the paper. Whoopsie daisy! Oh, there you go. Whoa, do it again. Oh no, you get my feet. Oh, you get my feet. Oh, you got my feet. Oh, you got my feet. There we go. Nice feather fun. Woohoo! Okay, this next one is floor feathers. All you need is a straw and a feather, or even a piece of paper. And now you gotta blow it across the room. Go, blow it. Blow it. Nice, blowing it across. 
Go, Willie, go. Hey, he gets to the end of the wall. He turns around and blows it back. And just keep going, Reg. There he is. Going to turn around. Nice. And you can make a track. You can hit it into some kind of goal. You can blow things over. This is great. Having them crawl on the floor is an awesome way to work on some core strength. Nice job, fellas. Oh, he's going another time. Floor feather. Woo! Yeah. Okay, this next one is balloon farts. Okay, all you got to do is blow up your balloons. Blow them up. Blow them up. Once they're full, and ready, and ready, Willie, and and balloon farts. Oh, then go get it, go get it, and do it again. Balloon farts. Do it again. Do it again. And and balloon farts. Ah. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Balloon farts. The world record balloon farts! Oh! Okay, Willie, go ahead. Show us your... your straw game. He's got a feather. Oh, score! Nice, we're gonna move it back an inch. Go ahead, do it again. Yeah, party. Ready? Load it up. Oh, good fine motor, good fine motor. Oh. Do it again, do it again. Nice job. Load it up. Cool purple feather. Fresh from the dollar store. Load it up into the into the cup. Oh, try it one more time. I think my straw's not straight. Oh, is that is that it? Loading it up, setting them up for success. Yes! Woohoo! High five, dude! <laughs> yes. This last one is swinging whistles. So, adding a whistle to a swing or any big gross motor activity is like double the effort. Sorry, excuse me, double the input. So, your body gets a lot more out of it when you're adding that whistle in. It's a form of proprioception and some heavy work while you're getting all that vestibular input. Swinging whistles. Okay, all right, and pause. Good job. Reg, is your jaw hurt? Yeah. Where? Show me where. where what hurts? Your face. Oh, you've been working out your jaw muscles. Let me see your jaw jaw muscles. Flex your jaw muscles. Oh, so strong. Oh, so strong. Thing for like a nice job. All right. Okay, so oral motor activities are so good. They're such a good activity to do throughout the day. Also, if your kid is jacked up and they're really fired up and they're excited, this is something you can do to help kind of bring their their um, alert level down a little bit. When when you're you're strengthening all these muscles in your mouth and in your jaw and that diaphragm, all that diaphragmatic breathing, and that stuff is fantastic for pre prepping the body to maybe get ready to eat or maybe to go out to the mall where it's kind of busy because you're getting all that heavy work, you're waking up this part of the body as well. It's very calming. There's a lot of reasons 
that oral motor is, is a really cool activity. I like to end, anytime I do anything with a kiddo, it's always kind of good to end with some sort of oral motor activity to help bring it back down. Also that blowing, that pursed lip breathing is, you're, when you're exhaling, you're strengthening your eyes, all those muscles in your eyes, that's good for, that you need those strong eye muscles to help focus, which helps me sustain attention, or that fixation on an object, which helps me pay attention, right? So all these things, all these things are really good for a lot of reasons. And I get excited about them. So Oral Motors, check it out. You can play around. There's a thousand things you can do. Think slow. <sighs> Belly breaths, pursed lip breathing, blowing things across the room with a straw, or drinking even through a straw. It can be that simple. Oral Motor. Thank you everyone for watching that video. Let me make sure Matt is back. Um, I'm back. Okay. Are we going to turn on the Instagram now? Uh, maybe not today. I'm still trying to figure out some technical issues. What about Willie or Reggie? Uh, they're both. Reggie? Uh, Will. Hi, Reggie. Hey, how are you guys? Hi, Reggie. So, yeah, so again, uh, thank you for everyone that's still here with us for today's live stream. So the, as you can see, the video that a uh, wonderful video that Matt uh, have done with his son. Uh, this is today's activity is our motor. So please, uh, for you that for those of you that haven't signed up for the challenges, go to luckykit.com forward slash challenge. This entire Friday challenge is 100% free. We're not charging anything for it. Uh, and once you sign up, you get all the replay of all the activities. And uh, also you get a chance to win prices every single day. So today, toward the end of today's show, which is uh, in 10 minutes here, we'll choose a random winner uh, from the email that we receive for everyone that uh, sign up. And uh, thank you, Matt, for joining us today. And Matt, do you want to, is anything you want to add to the video that maybe uh, on top of what you already shared on the video? Man, it was just, I was watching that with my kids, and uh, that was during COVID time, so haircuts were out of control. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. To watch. I haven't watched that in a while. I forgot we did this. Um, you know, I, I guess, you know, we, that was all about oral motor. Oral motor, you know, oral meaning mouth, motor meaning movement is, it's really good to add in every day as, as much as you can. It, um, especially, you know, if you, if you have a kid with uh, difficulty with eating, that's something you, you can experiment with. So if, if before mealtime, to do some more oral motor activities. Because two reasons why there might be some um, difficulty eating could be, you know, could be mechanical. So like chewing, uh, uh, that takes muscle and motor planning. And perhaps that is really difficult for the kids so that it might be certain foods they might avoid, like chewy things or, or crunchy things, because it's just hard to chew. So that's one reason oral motor helps you know, you're strengthening the lips, you're strengthening the cheek muscles, chewing gum, stuff like that, strengthening the jaw muscles can help with that. Also, it could be tactile sensitivity, like certain textures could be really difficult for a kid to handle. And the mouth is really sensitive. It's a really se super sensitive part of the body. So by doing all that heavy work, all, all that oral motor heavy work, you're kind of getting the, the, the mouth ready to eat, to put different textures. Like, if I have a skin sensitivity, if I know a kid has a skin sensitivity, like real light touch, I would do heavy work or deep pressure before doing something to help with that, help um, for that uh, sensory, uh, me, that sensory uh, system to help prime it and, and integrate it. So it's kind of the same thing when we're eating. So our, you know, our mouth is touch, right? Our tongue, the inside of our mouth is tactile. So heavy work can help with that. And there's a lot of ways you can do it. You know, we looked at all the things you can do with straw, whistles, harmonicas, um, you know, stuff like that. I, can pull up. I see a viewer here. Uh, can you read this comment for me? Lana? I mean, this is new. Yeah. Uh, I don't see any comments, no. Michelle Manley. Cool. Thanks for the chair I gifted to family who said it. It helped her kids a lot. Oh, thank you. I think she was one of the giveaway winners that we did last month during uh, holiday. We did a seven day of Christmas Oh, that's giveaway. nice. She's like Santa uh, Claus, but the woman. <laughs> like the <laughs> puppets. She's like Santa, yeah. but she just eats the, the puppet like this. 
<laughs> Sorry, I could was there, I couldn't quite hear. Was there a question? Oh, no, no. What? Say that again. Was there a question? I didn't. I didn't hear that part. No, it's not. It's not a question. It was a winner from the previous giveaway. Oh, awesome! Congrats. Yeah. So for December. today, just a reminder: as we are picking a winner here in five minutes. Uh, today's winner is going to be receive one of our fidget bubble pop as uh, two of my kids showing right now. Uh, Kiana, you want to show them what it look like? Yeah, you could all, you could do me hey, now. Uh, uh, hey, wanna put the meat no. on Okay, okay. Hey. So show them the real regular use of the brother. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is this is a pop is Maybe most of you know it. It uh, the only special thing about our pop is that uh, it have it have uh, have letters and also it also have a heart and a and a lucky kid puzzle. Yeah, and thing. another thing that makes this uh, our pop is a little bit special we use uh, food grade silicone. So food this is the same silicone that people use this in the is, kitchen product. Do you use so food this grace? is so we can eat grace. this. You can you can chew on it if you want to it's safe to chew on. It. So that's a major difference between a lot of the puppet. Okay, okay, that's enough. Uh, that, oh, don't touch it, Daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Just, don't, don't, don't yeah. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's not in, it's not intended to be chew on, but you know, with kids with special needs, they always chew on everything they get. Well, you're so, talking about you're talking about oral motor. There you go, chewing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. For sure, for sure. So we designed it using the the best uh, material we can find. So it's it's a food grade it's material, my, my bite. and uh, it's very different than those that you buy in the mall hey, because Daddy, you be do careful. not want to chew on the one you buy in the mall. Is they use very cheap. They use the cheapest material they can Daddy. find pretty much. Daddy. So that's a major difference. Besides that, uh, we also have alphabet <laughs> on our design. Daddy. And let's see. Uh, Daddy, do you want the tiny my shoulder? Yeah. And can you read this comment, Keanu? Great, ah, uh, great features. I seen them, but never bought one. Okay, hopefully you can win one for us, so you don't need to buy one. So the way to win one, just sign up for the challenge. If you haven't, yeah. If you didn't, hey, if you so. didn't, then you hey, won't if you're like a hey, if 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 you were a a dog, not a cat, you'll be definitely biting it right now. Right now. Okay, so it's, I think it's time for us to choose the winner for today. Who want to choose the winner? Keanu, hey, Lana, who want to pick the winner? Wait, is it right now? Yes, yeah, right now. Uh, no, it's not not yet. Uh, Keanu, you want to pick the winner? Since hmm. Luana picked the winner yesterday, you can pick the I winner from this. Also, board. also okay. make sure to sign in right now or you, or you won't get a chance to get a prize. Yeah, you can still sign up for the challenge right now. Oh, one person from today. Indiana. Yeah, just because a big one. Who are we gonna because pick? if you if you uh, pick right now, you won't get the prize. So. Oh, we have one lady sign up three hours ago. Another lady sign up twenty three hours ago. Let's try. Wait, go. Oh look, I was one of Okay, Brooke. so today's no, let's no, I want this. Then. Well, I because want this Brooke. I want this Brooke Smith because he's okay, because Brooke he's Smith. okay. Fine, we did. Or, or we could pick him. Okay, just him. pick one. I need to pick the winner. Which I want, one? I want Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith, okay. From fine. the Matrix. She's not from the Matrix, even so. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Too many Smith. It's, it's Mr. Smith. It is inevitable. So the winner, I'm going to put it yeah, in the comment for today. Uh, let me see, I can share. The winner for today's giveaway is Brooke Smith. Uh, Brooke, from, Mrs. Smith. Is from, it's Mr. From Smith Virgin from Matrix from, Wife. Okay, from <laughs> Ashburn, Virginia. Well, uh, congratulations for winning today's prize. Oh, for those of you uh, that haven't signed up for the challenge, please do so. We have two more prizes for the good. remaining time. On Thursday, we're giving away a Wego seed. Do we have a Wego seed here? This is a mini wiggle. No, nah, okay, yeah, fine. We have no wiggle seat to show, but that's okay. We'll show wait, you. Wait, 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 yeah. yeah, and on Friday, we'll be giving away our fidget chair band as fidget well. So please make sure you sign up for the Friday challenge. Hey, Dad, don't you think this does kind of look like a blue wiggle seat for mini kind of? I guess so. Uh, well, we're not going to get a real wiggle seat, so maybe we can show the audience before we. Yeah. 
Anyway, so anything else you want to add, Matt, before we end the stream today? Uh, no, I, I would uh, love to see people try some stuff at home. And um, are we still doing that thing where they can post pictures or videos? Yes, yes. Please, yeah. for those of you that's part of our good. Friday Challenge, please post it on any social media of your choice and just tag. Lucky Kid and Sensory Fitness, uh, once you post either a picture or a video, we would love to see them. And for those of you that actually post a picture, uh, we will also give you some um, special prizes. So cool. please post the picture on social media and we will give you free prizes just for posting pic picture of you and your kids actually doing the challenge that Coach Matt is, is teaching each day. And uh, each challenge uh, you have a, uh, a lot of salt is being put behind uh, activities and there's a lot of uh, in intention Sorry, behind those. So, okay, that's okay. We'll show them the we go see tomorrow. So thank you again for joining us today and uh, we will see you tomorrow. And thank you, Matt, for showing up today and join us uh, on the live stream. We will see you tomorrow, Matt. All right, thanks, Jason. Yeah. Bye, Keanu. Bye, Keanu. And Matt, bye, everybody. Uh, Please come visit my co-working space on Tennessee. Right. I got it. Yeah, maybe I can meet you for once tomorrow. Send me a message if you want to swim back to my co-working space. All right. We're going to go do some more right now. Hey. Okay. Sounds good. Reggie, hey, can yeah. Reggie go so that yeah, way? Yeah, they can also. Yeah, I could play okay. Pokemon.